Carol. I'm a transformational speaker, author, writer, speaker, serial entrepreneur, and movable optimist. And I'm here to help people become better versions of themselves in their personal lives as well as their business. I'm also the host for a show called Transforming with Carol on DSTV channel 278. So now, I'm here because um, I'm very concerned about my country, Zambia. I think a lot needs to be done and I don't even know where to start from because I'm here as a mother you know I've got kids back home and I'm relying on information that's coming out in the media social media you know um, and of course people on the ground in regards to what's happening back home but I sincerely feel that as countrymen as Zambia we need to change I feel that there are a lot of things that we need to learn in terms of communication, but also in being patriotic. I think we need to get to a point where um, we start to ask ourselves the questions of, is this what we really want? And is this how we want to communicate it? Because I feel we're taking this as a joke, you know, um, we're taking this situation as a joke, what's happening back home as a joke. And there are people who've got investments, there are people that have got family out there and I also feel that the people that are doing whatever they're doing need to be brought to, you know, they need to be brought to the table and this issue needs to be sorted out. I really feel that the people that we put in office, they need to stand up for the word that they, you know, that they would serve and protect us. I really feel that Zambians need to become more assertive. They need to become more action, you know, not in the in the sense of violence, but we need to get to a place where we, we ask ourselves, how can we best serve our community in a positive manner? Because we cannot have people failing to sleep. We cannot have people, you know, making jokes about situations. As much as Zambia prays, as much as we can have emotional breakdowns and all those things, because these things happen every day. But, and then what? What is the next step? what needs to be done because we cannot be in a place where we have civil unrest we don't even handle these things all the time you know how are we going to know how to handle this situation we need to ask ourselves what are the results of the actions that were taken anyone that has access to social media has the power to make it positive or negative as much as certain things are happening out there, please make sure that you verify the information before you go out there and start putting things on social media. What can you do in your space to ensure that people are not in a place where they feel, you know, unsafe? We need to get to a place of saying, the Zambia that I love, the Zambia that I love, okay? What can I do in my situation, in my capacity, to ensure that the safety is there, to ensure that I'm not you know, fueling the situation that is happening back home. We need to really get to a point where we take this so seriously because I think to some extent people think this is a joke when it's not a joke, you know, because every day that, you know, some of us are away, we are busy wondering what is happening to our families, what's going on with our children at school. Those are all things we have to think about. So I really want to urge somebody out there to really think about the situation and to ask themselves how can they positively, you know, contribute. Otherwise, thank you for um, taking this short time to just hear my concerns, but I'm really worried, you know, about what is going on. And as a mother, this really unsettles me. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, share.